Hello and welcome back to The Note. It's been a day of great tragedy in the UK with the senseless murder of the MP Joe Cox in the street. And it's been a day of a rapid turnaround for world markets. Are those two things related? Now, you've always got to be extremely careful about assigning cause and effect in markets, but I would say they probably are. Now, let's start with Exhibit A. This is how the FTSE 100, the uh, best known index of the UK stock markets, performed during the day. And you can see a quite remarkable and sharp recovery right at the end of the day. That was at about the time that the news came through that uh, Ms Cox had been confirmed dead. Now, you see at about the same time similar revivals in many other markets linked to the UK. Sterling did well, there was movement in other foreign exchange markets, there were movement in bond markets. And perhaps very intriguingly, if we take a look at the gold price, a classic safe haven, you can see that it had moved up very strongly earlier in the day and takes a dive at about the time that news comes through and continues to fall. Now, to be clear, there would be fairly good reasons why bonds might reverse and why safe haven trades like the yen or gold might reverse because uh, gold was at its strongest level in almost two years uh, and there was also great demand for the yen. Safe havens looked as though they might well have been overbid. I discussed this yesterday in the reaction to the Fed and so it's possible that you simply saw people taking profits on safe havens at one particular time. However, it, it is, I think, quite convincing to suggest that the trigger for that did come from that awful news in the UK. If we take a look at this chart, this is the odds checker website uh, version of the probability ascribed to a vote by the UK to leave the EU in the referendum, which is now exactly one week away. This is available on the Bloomberg terminals, and it's probably one of the main ways that traders can access what they perceive as being the chances of uh, an exit. You can see that as the day started, you can see the odds on Brexit rising very sharply, getting up to uh, roughly 45%. They dip sharply, first of all, on the news that uh, the shooting had occurred, and they dip again uh, once we had the very sad confirmation that Ms Cox had indeed died. By the end of the day, the odds on, uh, uh, of a Brexit happening were perceived to be lower than they had been at the start. Now, that does, I think, make sense. There are unconfirmed reports that the uh, assassin shouted Britain first before doing so. If it does indeed turn out that uh, he was motivated by some right-wing nationalist ideology that is going to repulse many people and it must at the margin increase the chances uh, of a vote to remain rather than to leave. As for the uh, importance of Brexit in international markets, it dominates conversation among financial types on this side of the Atlantic almost as much as it does in London. People are very worried about it. It has fed very much into the loss of risk appetite. Therefore, I think it probably is true to say that today's tragedy has sparked a belief that Brexit is slightly less likely than it was before, and that has sparked a sell-off in safe haven assets and a recovery for risk assets. That doesn't for a second mean that anybody should be in any way pleased by today's news, but some people have profited from it.